Welcome to a tutorial video on platform basics for Unity 2D. In this video, I'm going to discuss tile map basics. To start, I've created a basic 2D project in Unity. I've named this project Maze. I have nothing else in this project other than just creating it for these example videos. To create a tile map, the first steps we will need to do is to bring in whatever we're going to use as the tile sheet or sprite sheet. I've already prepared something for this and I can import it into this project by going to Assets, Import New Asset. The file I've already prepared is called Autumn Sprite Sheet and it's 32 by 32 tiles. And I click Import to bring that file into the project. Notice it added it to the Assets folder and we can see that in the Project View down here and it's already selected for us. Over here in the Inspector View we notice for sprite mode it's set to single. Well that isn't quite what we want because these are multiple sprites or multiple tiles in a single file. So we need to change sprite mode from single to multiple. We also need to change the pixels per unit. In this case, and we can see by the title, these are 32 by 32. So we change that to 32. This is also pixel art, so we don't necessarily need a filter, so we can change that to point and finally, because this is a very small file, we don't need compression, so we can turn that off. And then click Apply to save those changes. Well, we've imported this file. We've told Unity it's multiple sprites, or multiple tiles in this case. We've changed the pixels per unit to 32. There's one more step we need to do for this. Let's click on Sprite Editor. We need to tell Unity to slice these tiles into different assets we can then use when we prepare to draw our tile map. To do that, we use the slice functionality. Click on slice, change the type to grid by cell size. We want to tell Unity how big each cell is, how big each tile is within this. These are 32 by 32. And now click slice. And Unity has sliced each tile into its own asset, which we'll see shortly. Now that we've sliced these, we want to click Apply to save those changes. And notice now, selecting this first tile, we see its width is 32 pixels, its height is 32 pixels, and its position within the sprite sheet is 0 by 0. We can now close the sprite editor. The sprite is now ready. Now that we've added a file, we've changed its sprite mode from single to multiple, changed its pixels to 32 by 32, and used the sprite editors to slice a single file into multiple assets, we're now ready to create our tile map. We can do that in the hierarchy view by going to Create, 2D Object, Tile Map. By default, a tile map has a grid which is very helpful because we need a place to put the tiles in the tile map. So Unity has pre-created a grid pattern for us and put the tile map as a child underneath that. This will help us when we go to draw the tiles, which is our next step. So we have our file and we have our tile map. There's a functionality in between those we use called a tile palette to draw on a tile map based on existing tiles. We can get to that functionality by going to Window, 2D, Tile Palette. By default, there are no tile palettes created. Unity expects us to create those palettes and to arrange them how we want and to then use them to draw on the tile map. So let's create a new palette. So click Create New Palette. I'm going to call this palette Ground. It's going to be the ground for this Platformer basic series. Click Create. It then wants us to choose where to save that palette. I'm going to create a new folder in Assets and call this Palettes. Click Create and then Choose. Notice down in the Project View it created a folder called Palettes. It also put the palette within that, Ground. So we have a ground palette. Our active tile map is Tile Map. And it tells us here, drag tile, sprite, or sprite texture assets here. So we can do that now by dragging the sprite sheet into this. Well, now it wants us to choose where to save these tiles. I'm going to create a tiles folder. 
so we can better organize our assets. Create, choose. Notice I created these tiles within the tiles folder. These are all assets we can use now within this project. With this selected, I'm going to click on Paint with Active Brush, make sure over here I'm in the scene view, and select which tile I want to draw with. In this case, I want to draw with this tile. I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to draw just outside of the camera. That's what this box is. It tells us where the camera is. I'm going to draw just outside of it, and then I accidentally drew outside here. I didn't quite mean to do that, so I can click on Erase with Active Brush, and just erase that as if I was drawing with it. Well, we've now created a tile map. We've added our tiles. So let's close the tile palette and review where we are in this video. So we imported a sprite sheet by going to Assets, Import New Assets, and selecting a pre-prepared sprite sheet. That added it to our project down here. We then changed the sprite mode from single to multiple set the pixels per unit to 32, and because this was pixel art, we were able to change the filter mode and turn the compression off because we didn't need those for this case. We then went to Sprite Editor, Slice, and changed it to Grid by Cell Size, changed the cell size to 32 by 32, sliced, clicked Apply, closed this, then we went to Window, 2D, Tile Palette, we created a tile palette. In this case, I called it ground. Once it was created, we were able to pull the sprite sheet from assets, from the project view, into the tile palette. We then save those tiles, and we were able to draw those tiles from the tile palette on the tile map within our scene view, arranging them to the grid pattern that Unity created for us. Thanks for watching.